Hey YouTube, it's been a while since I did any kind of update video, and unfortunately there really isn't anything to update on the current setup I have here in front of us. But the good news is that I finally got started on the new build that I will be moving this tank into. Now I mentioned this plan in the last few videos that I did, but since then I've been finalizing the plans, gathering my supplies, and working on getting my hands on the new equipment. But uh, that being said, this new build is also going to have a lot of DIY aspects to it, like a DIY stand, some tank modifications. But the focus of this short video is going to be on the DIY glass sump tank that I finally got started on. Uh, it's not quite finished yet, but I figured I'd show you guys what I've been up to. And uh, let's go upstairs and take a look at it. Alright, so you can see here's the 20 gallon glass sump that I'll be using. But before we take a look at that, I'm going to show you the uh, materials that I've been gathering. Uh, you can see the new show tank right there. And next to that, in that mess of boxes and wires, that's all the new equipment that I'll be using on the new setup. Here's a close up of the new tank. It's a 26 gallon bow front. I'm going to be drilling some holes in here for a return and an overflow but more on that in a different video and here's a close-up of the equipment but again I'm gonna do a way more in-depth video about all that when the time comes alright so here's a look at the 20 gallon sump again and you can see here that I have drawn the partition lines on the outside of the tank. It's where I'm going to be placing my glass panels. And over on the wall here, you can actually see the glass panels that I've already cut and they're ready to go. And hopefully by the end of this video, I can get the glass panels siliconed in place. I'll show you what the finished tank's going to look like. But before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to show you where I'm going to be putting the equipment in the tank and show you how everything lines up. And you can see the skimmer off to the right here, uh, various pumps to the left, and above it you can see the sump lighting I'm going to be using. But that's just a real quick view of how I'm going to arrange things, and now I'm going to go try and get everything silicone in place and show you what the finished sump's going to look like. So here is the practically finished sump tank. I have plans on doing a DIY video on how I built my whole sump. I have footage of me actually building it and things like that, walking through the process that I did, but uh, nothing's been edited yet, so hopefully I'll do that later. But either way, this is what we got here. Uh, the silicone isn't dry yet on the last few partitions I put in, but you can see the bubble traps I have in place. Uh, the tank is now partitioned to its respective chambers. The silicone is still a little bit messy, so I still have to clean that up, so it's not quite 100% yet, but uh, I'm happy with it right now. You can see the forward section there is going to be the inlet for the sump, and it's also going to be where I keep my protein skimmer. The middle section is going to be my refugium, and the last section is going to be where I have my return pump and my reactor. So that's it for this video. Um, hopefully in the next video we'll get to see if this thing holds water. I just wanted to do a quick update, show you guys what I've been up to, and hopefully there'll be a bunch more videos coming out soon. Alright, thanks for watching.